Hey guys, uh, welcome to Stonewall Brigade Project Update Number Four. So this is going to be a quick update. Uh, this is all I got done. I'm not going to do any intro or fanfare or anything like that. So we'll just go ahead and show you what we got done this week. First thing I did was I got my second group of skirmishers done. These are the Perry Metal, the all metal Perry ones, and they're really cool. And I really wish they made more than one set of skirmishing Confederates, but they don't. So what I'm going to do is, like I said in the last video, is I'm going to take these guys and mix them in with my other two groups of skirmishers to give them some more variety. Most of these guys are gray. Um, well, three of them. So half of them are gray. And then I gave two of them in shirts, a white shirt and a red shirt. And then I've also done my first butternut shell jacket. Kind of as a test to see what it would look like. I like the way it looks. So I think I might add a few in uh, to the regular troops as well. I've also done a officer in butternut. And there he is. This is the kit bash guy that I did with the pistol from the cavalry box and then the sword hilt from the cavalry box as well. So he's going to be the skirmishing officer. And other than that, um, I just tried to do some more blankets. So I did a white blanket with uh, black stripes and then I did sort of a deep blue blanket with gray stripes. And again, just trying to increase the variety of the blankets. Uh, this guy has one too, but his is worn a little bit differently. His is around his... Uh, a, a strap to his back instead of just wrapped around his body and I did that just as a German camo beige with some green stripes and next up I did three more cavalry so again these guys are really cool um, they're definitely the, my favorite models that I've done so far is the uh, two groups of three cavalry that I painted so I did uh, one regular guy I did the officer and then I did the uh, banner guy so the banner this flag came with the uh, in the box it's just a paper flag that's all it is, and then you just glue it onto the uh, the uh, flagpole there. And then I've added a lot of yellow to these guys, as that is the cavalry color. These three guys I did with the blue pants and the yellow stripes. I've seen some pictures, and they that was a kind of a common uh, type of pants that the cavalry guys wore. And I wanted to mix some in with mine, so I did all three of these guys. And when they're mixed in with the rest, there'll be three out of nine that have that style of pants. And I think it came out pretty good. There's another guy here with that, and then a black horse, a white horse. I always put my officer on a white horse just to make it easier to pick him out. He's also got the Stetson with the gold braid and the high boots, and then his, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, his uniform is a little bit, he doesn't have as many uh, cross belts and stuff as the other guys do, just the one holding on a sword. And that's it. That is what I've gotten done since update number three. So now I'll go ahead and show you what I have lined up for next week. Next week I will be working on the command group. So this is Perry's Metal Command Group in shirts, most of the guys. And it's got two flags, and it has one drummer. It also has one bugle, but I think I might be using this guy as a sergeant, possibly, if I need him. If not, he'll just be part of the uh, musician group, unless he needs to be used for something else. There's one officer, so that's going to be my level 2 officer here. And this guy here is going to be my sergeant standing here with the sword. So these guys are all in shirts. I think it'll look pretty cool once they're all mixed in with everyone else. And then finally I got my Jeb Stewart model. This is going to be my big man. He will not be Jeb Stewart. He will be somebody else, but it is the Jeb Stewart model. As I think he uh, looks very uh, Civil War generally type. With his big old beard and big old gloves, boots. So yeah, this guy's going to, I think he'll look pretty cool when he's all done. So that'll be my level three big man overall command. And that's it. That's what I'm going to work on next week. And that's probably all I'm going to do next week. I'm going to start mixing in some other stuff. I'm going to probably work on another one of my Indians. I don't think I'll be doing a video next week either. As I'm going to be out of town uh, for work, which means I'll be getting a lot more painting time. So I'll probably be able to get a lot of stuff knocked out. Definitely these guys. And then I'll probably try to do as many of the... Uh, uh, what's left of my western stuff as I can to try to finish that up. So now what I'll do uh, is customary. We'll go take a look at everything all together. Here we go. Here's the four so far after update four. That's uh, three groups of line, two groups of skirmishers with leaders, and then six of the nine cavalry complete. So I have gone through and mixed up the uh, the line troops. So I had some in shirts. 
uh, firing in shirts. I had firing in shell jackets, and then the back guys were kind of a mix of shell jacket and sack coat. And I went through and I just mixed them all up, and that's what they look like right now. And then we got our two groups of uh, skirmishing uh, cow or skirmishing infantry up in the front here, and then the guys in the back. So uh, ignore the uh, terrain. We're going to be playing a sharp practice game on the peninsula tomorrow night, and uh, this is set up for that. And yeah, so that's it. I'm happy with the progress. It's really coming together. And I look forward to working on this army some more. So look for the next update probably a uh, week after next. And uh, with that, I'll sign off, say thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.